Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Plants 2. My name is Nissa and this will be the first of my Let's Talk videos for the Planet 2 area pla uh, animal pack. Sorry. Um, I'm a little late and it's because I turned 30 this Friday, so the entire vegan were birthday stuff. Uh, so thank you to my family for everything. It was wonderful. Um, so but that's just why i'm a little late here so i hope that's okay with you guys so the first video uh picture we got uh, on instagram where the damn gazelle it's two days old so that's the one we're gonna talk about today i'm gonna catch up with these hopefully before the week is over uh, i'm not sure i'm gonna go talk about the um, buildings and stuff Depending if I find something I really want to say, I will, but for now it's just for the animals. Uh, but here we can see the uh, host and it's Planet Zoo game. Hey you, Steve here. Thanks for helping me on this lookout mission in the sandy desert. Oh, I already seen something. Get those binoculars out. It's the Dharma Castle you can see one of them is grazing on the scrubs this is where they obtain most of the water to survive and here it is and already now it seems like we're gonna have multiple colorations i'm not sure because again these are not turned the same way so it is possible that this white patch up here is the same as this one but i hope we do uh we will look at this a little closer in a minute but I will just go over here. This is Animalia where I get most of my information. Or they were down doing this weekend though. Or Friday I think. Uh, so I'm not sure what happened there. But the Damagasil here is of course a bovine. And it is in the Antilopian Ne. Antilopian Ne is basically the antelopes. Uh, which is everything from back. Uh, all of the bugs, the antelopes, the gazelles, clip springer, everything in between. Like everything you think gazelle or antelope or thereof will be in this pretty much. It's a really, really big uh, subfamily. Uh, for genus, we have Ne Nanger, and that have three species only, which is the grand gazelle, dama gazelle, and so mare rings gazelle um and these gazelles are a little different than other gazelles again there are many more gazelles than we have here but what seems really really on the nose for me is the neck area it seems longer than regular gazelles i'm not completely sure if that's it but it's something i think i spot here uh, going back here, we have multiple pictures of them back here. And here you can also see the different patterns, which again lets me to believe that we will get uh, different morphs of them. For appearance, the Damagasil is definitely one of the most elegant and graceful creatures around the globe. Additionally, it it's the largest gazelle in the world. This adorable animal is in to arid habitats found along the southern edges of the sahara desert unfortunately damagasils is now threatened with total extinction as a result of local climate change encroachments freak runs military and civil conflict as well as ex excessive hunting gazelles are even told ungulates uh, otherwise called hoofed animals uh, again even told ungulates that's also some whales so again um it's this order here again i'm not good at uh, saying it but i can point it out <laughs> um which means they 
exhibit an equal number of functional toes on each of their feet. Again, it doesn't have to be two, it can also be four. It can also actually be an uneven number, but they lay their way on an even number. Uh, for instance, we actually do not use our pinky that much. Uh, pinky, baby, pinky toe, baby toe. I think that's what it calls. These animals are widespread throughout Africa and Asia, where they are represented by 19 species, which seems that there may be subspecies of these. This one seems very pregnant though. Uh, this one actually also looks like it have lighter lines on the neck, which is interesting, but it can also be like just folds when they have their neck up. Uh, here it's stretched out. They are from African again. Uh, Chad, Mali, Niger, Algeria and Morocco. So it's a very small area. For biomes we go with grassland, savanna and scrublands and climate zones. It is the tropical and arid climate zones. So they won't be fully arid animals. So you will be able to, for instance, build a mostly arid habitat and then give it a little tropical corner that is a little greener. That would be fine if you don't want to just play around with these very minute, uh, kind of boring colorations that the arid climate zones mostly will have. Again, the game goes mostly for biomes or uh, mix them together. So I'm not sure completely what they will say, but I assume they would say grassland and desert. Maybe they will say tropical. I'm not sure, but I'm really, really sure that arid for the game will be desert, which it's not the same. It's not the same. Desert is a biome. Um, but I'm not going to go off on a tantrum here. But that was just a quick video on this. Ooh, ooh, I promise you, we're going to take a closer look. One thing I really, really love is the muscles. And the, um, this is not a muscle. It's a, um, what's it called? Oh, I the elastics inside our bodies i'm not sure what they called in english uh, but you know what i mean but you can see these sculptured um structures that i really really do appreciate the fur looks really good again take that with the grain of salt this picture can be taken either on a web very very good computer or very very bad computer so it may look different on your computer based on what you have i assume they do have good computers though um i do like that we can see these small hairs down here it's very discreet the nose looks very good and very realistic and the same with the horns it looks so so good and i'm very impressed this far with everything here um I actually think that's a new plan, but that's not what we're talking about today. The tail here, the hairs on the end doesn't look perfect, but I can live with it. Uh, and the hooves this far looks okay. It's hard to see because I can't zoom in that much on this picture to see how the uh, change goes, oh, if there's a line or the fur go down or something, but we will look at that. Probably we will not look at that because uh, some of the other YouTubers probably will get the game early and make these videos where you can see the animal. I only get the game on the day and at that point the other videos will already be out so it doesn't make sense for me to make that video. So when the games go out I will just start building one, uh, so we can get some speed builds. One thing I will uh, mention is a comment I saw it over here somewhere. Would you guys ever consider uh, remastering old species? There are they are so cartoony compared to the better looking realistic ones, and I do agree very much with that. Gwen. it's yeah, these look so good, especially the West African lion looks extremely cartoonish, and that also either shows that Frontier just got so much better, or they simply change their style 
Um, but you can see here, people really like the lifelike aspect of it. It looks lifelike. Great job. Uh, here, wow, it's absolutely perfect. People seem to be very happy about it overall. I think the only thing people do not like about this is the fact that we get four bone vines and a ass or a donkey um at the same times so that's really a lot <laughs> um but i think that's the main issue here uh, it is kind of sad that we already had the fennec fox because it would have been perfect for this uh, pack so anyway i will start recording some of the other pictures here we got and you will get those videos in the coming days i may not have a speed reel ready for you wednesday but then we will have one of these videos instead uh, and i'm really looking forward for the pack again i'm definitely gonna get it and i'm gonna start building right away when i get it uh, again this picture is just from the instagram and i did check that uh, steam didn't have more pictures of this since i forgot looking at that them in my last video anyway guys we are gonna end it here and as always guys you know the drill like subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time i upload a video i really hope to see you again either in the comments below or in the next video bye guys